can all the teachers share about what is your feeling when you first enter a single course? Uh, yeah. Well, I suppose um, it was one of expectation and uh, coming to a new school and looking forward to something different and also looking forward to teaching the students. And of course, one had heard of the reputation of the school. So um, it was just an, a sort of an exciting time uh, to be coming in the 1980s, I think, the start of the 1980s. Uh, I came here in 1989. <laughs> I think my first day is for the job interview. I remember I stopped in front of the hall because there's a debate going on. I stopped it and listened for a while and I was very impressed by the student debater's speech. At that time I thought it was a good school, nurturing students in thinking skills and language skills. Uh, I think uh, for me I have mixed feelings uh, because I've never taught uh, boys before. I've taught in a co-educational college in fact. So I have about like mixed feelings. I'm, I felt excited but at the same time I also felt a bit worried and nervous. Uh, have you remember you took the student to a castle in hospital, is it? <laughs> yes, yes I did. Yes, I it's been rather notorious about that. I think it started in the mid 1980s. <laughs> I mean, the whole point and purpose of going to the hospital was, first of all, uh, to try and change the attitude of Hong Kong people towards the elderly who suffer from dementia and Alzheimer's. The other thing was that if they became doctors, instead of going into general practice and doing one of their specialisations, some of them might go into psychiatry and therefore they would um, you know, sort of go into a place like Castle Peak Hospital or Kowloon Hospital was the other one, I think, or one of those hospitals on the other side. So, and in the 1980s, students in St. Paul's were thinking about other professions to go into, not just engineers, lawyers, and doctors. So they started thinking about sociology, reading sociology at the University of Psychology and things like that. So it would also be an opportunity and an eye-opener for them to go and maybe they could spend part of their time you know, at a place like Castle Peak Hospital. So is there any difference between A-levels and DSEs of graduate? How would you describe the difference between students in life or the teaching methods? Uh, for A-level, uh, the, the exams never sort of crossed my mind in the sense of forming pressure. You know, you knew you had to get the students to do exam papers and get them through exams and get as good grades as they possibly could. But I would always do my own thing with the students and never interfere. So uh, that's where my music came in. <laughs> so uh, we had the cassettes or we have CDs and we would play them in class, discuss the music, especially if it was impressionistic music like Debussy and things like that and all that sort of thing. And the, and the discussing and bringing ideas. So I would think that the students are learning by interacting and answering and asking questions. 